Let's welcome in the management at uh, PNB Guilds. They are now joining us live from uh, Delhi. So sorry to have uh, kept you waiting, but uh, could you just tell us that uh, one of the key triggers for PNB Guilds recently has been uh, what's happening to the cost of funding? And uh, do you believe that will come down in Q4 as RBI has already changed its stance? Yeah, our cost of fund uh, for the last three quarters has been 6.38%. Uh, we have access to call, we have access to laugh and other uh, areas. So we keep uh, our cost of fund as low as possible. Right. Uh, in terms of cost of funding, what was it in Q3 and where do you see it in Q4? Uh, Q3 it was 6.38. 3Q, all the three uh, quarters put together, it was 6.38%. Uh, and going forward, uh, uh, you know, it's not going to be much higher. It, it should be around this only. Right. It should be around these levels irrespective of RBI changing the stance? You know, RBI changing the stance, the, the lower end has not been as much affected. And... Uh, uh, it, it, it remains around this level only. Uh, so there is not, not much change, change in the lower end, that is call and all, uh, CBLO and LAF. Uh, I think we will be able to maintain around this with small change, 5, uh, 10 basis point at the most. Could you tell us about your total portfolio size? What is the current size of your book and uh, how much is held till maturity? Held to maturity is, uh, you know, as per RBI uh, position, it's uh, one uh, size of one um, uh, net worth, which is uh, as on 31st of March, it was 731. So uh, our uh, held to maturity is around that level. And right. The size uh, in of terms of duration, what is... Fluctuates anything from uh, between 3,500. It's, it's currently 3.5. Right. It's currently about 3.5 years. Yes, 3.5 years. Right. Say if the growth rate numbers are good, GST is implemented and things go as per plan, uh, what would be your estimates for 10-year uh, yield? Uh, how do you think the 10-year GSEC yield will move? See, the 10-year GSEC would depend on things which are uh, affecting our current uh, uh, rates. Uh, see, the good thing, uh, the positive about the rate scenario is that there are no more auctions. Uh, the liquidity is uh, 3.5 lakh crore, which is uh, quite good. And uh, the inflow, uh, FIN flow has seen a positive trend that in February, the, both debt and equity are positive. But the challenges to this uh, is uh, that uh, <clears throat> presently Fed uh, stands, uh, RBI stands from uh, accommodative to neutral. Uh, the rates uh, in, in uh, commodities or uh, um, uh, oil. So keeping that challenge in mind, we have a slightly wider view, uh, wider, uh, I mean, anything from 6.775 to 7%. Do you think that 7% uh, if it goes, if, if the yields go over there, uh, there could be a big issue with FIs and the flows? Yeah. Because it has already seen more than 786 uh, currently and uh, therefore we keep that. Uh, 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 even if it doesn't touch 7, uh, 790, 795 should be there. But uh, uh, yes, there should be, a, a, you know, interest would be there. And then uh, in the bond market, if the yields go up, uh, the domestic bond market itself sees some interest in buying. Right. Uh, in terms of uh, FII flows, especially into debt markets, it has been very strong in the last few years. Do you expect it to continue? India is still one of the best place market for FIs with currency being where it is? Yes, yes, it should continue. And if you see the debt utilization, it is uh, roughly 74% uh, in um, uh, uh, auctions and 59% and, uh, uh, in long-term <coughs> uh, 
uh, GSEC and uh, almost 69% uh, uh, in uh, 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 the private uh, bond market. So it is fairly good. Even presently, it is fairly good. Right. Are you sitting on cash at this moment or all your funds are right now deployed? No, we, we are net borrowers in the market. You know, if, I, if my uh, uh, March uh, uh, level, March uh, net worth is 731 crore and I'm having anything from 3,500 to 4,500 crore portfolio at various times, then I'm a net borrower in the market. So we never sit on cash. Right. What would be your borrowing mix uh, in terms of uh, the mix that you take? Is it majority of money comes from call money markets? Uh, it comes from call money market. It also comes from CBLO. Uh, and uh, there are uh, specific supports that uh, RBI provides to uh, primary dealers. So we have those uh, few. Uh, we can also borrow in ICD so there are various sources, uh, but mainly uh, what I mentioned. Right. As far as Q4 is concerned or Q1 is concerned with uh, the change in the rates and the outlook for rates, uh, how do you see company maintaining its profitability? Because last two quarters for PNB Guilds has been quite spectacular. Yes. See, we, uh, if you see how the interest rates have moved during the last one year, uh, right uh, from uh, you know 680 uh, on 8th, 8th of November to uh, you know it had a rally of 61 basis point uh, during uh, demonetization then uh, adverse movement of around 14 basis points uh, when this uh, uh, CRR and uh, uh, stipulation came from RBI 100 percent CRR then there was an, uh, another adverse movement uh, during the two policies and we are back to 686 so we, we started from 680 and we are back to around the same level now so during this period we have made money despite adverse movement so we have a strategy for all situations and I think we should be able to maintain we'll try to maintain this level I mean much depends on how uh, intraday movements happens and interday movement of interest rate happens Right, uh, sir, thank you so much for taking our time for us. Always good to get a perspective uh, from you. That was the management at PNB Guilds talking about Q4 and how essentially Q3 and Q2 have been very strong.